developers, and robotics companies from Japan and across the world were all in one place, displaying the latest technologies, making it an ideal chance for business-related discussions. Every day, forums, trade shows, technical seminars, and other concurrent events were held to introduce the world to the latest robot technologies. This year, the exhibition reached new limits due to the reveal of mind-blowing robots at the expo. You will be shocked just like we were. If you want to learn about the various gadgets that were included in the robot exhibition in Japan, then this video is for you. We'll reveal all the details about what all these robots can do. But hang on. Before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you, like what you see. Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. IREX claims to have been the world's biggest robot trade show with over 300 attendees and over 100,000 members of the public. The concept of this year's event was the path to a more friendly society, which was connected by robots. The expo was divided into two broad categories, the industrial robot zone and the service robot zone. To define in simple words, cleanup robots are examples of industrial robots, while service robots involve welding and riveting arms. The response from everywhere in the world was overwhelming, and the exhibition was impressive. Let us take a look at the various robots that were present in production this year. Rideable Robotic Ibex At Tokyo's IREX International Robot Exhibition 2022, Kawasaki displayed a rideable goat-shaped automated robot. The robot, dubbed RHP Bex, is based on an Ibex, a type of untamed mountain goat native to Europe, Asia, and Northeast African regions. A demonstrator, Kazumichi Moriyama, was also shown riding all around the exhibition space on Ibex. The teleoprated goat can travel in two ways, standing on four limbs or bending down to navigate smooth surfaces on wheels connected to its feet and its knees. The robot can typically carry 160 kilograms, and according to Kawasaki Robotics, Bex might carry plants on farmland or transfer materials to a construction area. The company will investigate giving anthropomorphic Ibex arms in the following stages of its development. Kaleido Robot This time, Kawasaki also introduced the state-of-the-art anthropomorphic Kaleido robot form developed in collaboration with top Japanese universities such as the School of Tokyo. It is a humanoid Kaleido NFT based on blockchain technology. Kaleido is a humanoid robot created by Kawasaki Heavy Industries Limited, one of Japan's three main heavy industry companies. As most of you might know, Kawasaki is a motorbike manufacturer that is Japan's pride and is loved by everyone worldwide. Kawasaki Heavy Industries is a component stock of the Nikkei 225, a share market indicator based in Japan, and is one of the leading corporations in Japan's economy. The humanoid Kaleido NFT is the world's first NFT linked to extant robots, with the central principle of a society in which robots influence society and exist side by side with humans. Humanoid Kaleido in manga comics, is one of the most popular aspects of Japanese culture, and multiple narratives that branch out from this central concept are connected to the valuation of NFT. We will add even more detail to the story with the looks of the real humanoid Kaleido NFT. Kawasaki believes that a major objective of robots in the future will be to assist an aging society. There is already a high demand for robots that assist with long-term services, Robots will have to be as comfortable and warm as humanity if they are to work well enough at home. Automeroid Robot Another robot that could also be called a showstopper or a head-turner of the expo was the Automeroid Robot that played musical instruments at the Robot Exhibition in Japan for 2022. This robot was developed by the Miwa Denki, based in Kanagawa, for the sole purpose of entertainment. The robot was placed on a stage of sorts with various robotized musical instruments which looked like you were in another dimension altogether. Agrist Robot As its own test field, Agrist has formed a new greenhouse in Japan that has been streamlined for automatic cultivation robots. This enables the firm to test its robots more easily, continually improve more quickly than ever before, and make a contribution to resolving agricultural issues for farm owners as soon as possible. The robot can move inside the greenhouse on a floating wire allowing it to avoid obstructions such as dirt or leaf litter easily. Furthermore, it instantaneously cuts off surplus stems at the same time as extraction, reducing the overall duration of the process. 
the automatic cultivation robot is part of a collaborative pilot study between agrist and municipal farmers on new agriculture practices that incorporate robots, including intelligent machines. As a result, the AI of the agrist aspires to provide assistance that evaluates data in the future, warns of illnesses, and forecasts yield. Nextage Philly Robot According to Kawada, the company developed these robots to stand collaboratively alongside people and connect with people in the same environment. Nextage has a high-speed monocular camera and two arms with 12 joints each that can be positioned to within 30 microns. When a human worker approaches, the robot immediately stops working for safety reasons. People's jobs do not require them to handle large items or move quickly. As a result, his goal is for industrial robotic systems or inventions to perform human-like tasks, allowing people to be more constructive by collaborating with robots. Forpheus Ping Pong Robot it isn't easy to improve at table tennis without the need for a playing partner who can alter your skill level. That is exactly what the Forpheus Ping Pong robot can really do. It measures the position of its opponent and the motion of the ball 80 times a second using two vision detectors and a motion sensor. It can then use the AI model to analyze the direction of the ball and strike it back, as well as learn about your playing attributes over time to help you advance. It is not yet available for purchase by private and commercial customers, but its exhibition at the Robot Exhibition this year had people awestruck because it does point to a future in which robots can assist you in upgrading existing skills rather than simply doing tasks for you. Hinotori Surgical Robot MediCureWade's Hinotori Surgical Robot System was the first robotic-assisted surgery system brought into the world in Japan to receive regulatory approval from the country's Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in August of the year 2020. The Hinoptori has arms with eight axes, allowing them to perform movements similar to human arms. It also includes a three-dimensional optical system and a high-definition screen to help the surgeon regulate the arms. There are currently around 400 robotic-assisted surgical procedures systems in Japan, where ownership is restricted to large hospitals with large enough budgets to afford multi-million dollar robotic arms and operating rooms large enough to satisfy them. The system's small size will help surgical robots are becoming more common, not just in Japan, but around the world. MediCureWade is developing next-generation instruction that uses artificial intelligence to replicate operations using technical data from orthopedic clinicians, which made its display at the exhibition even more promising and anticipated. Kodaki Robots These were the cutest robots on display and attracted the attention of almost everyone at the expo. They are adorable cat robots that moved in sync with each other, following each other's movements. But on the side of usability, they were designed for remote communication, which honestly amazed the onlookers present at the exhibition. The International Robotics Exhibition, also known as the IREX 2022, was held in Japan, there at the Tokyo Big Side Exhibition Space. Not only were there a lot of industrial robots, but there were also a number of exciting humanoids and bio-inspired robotics inventions. Japan's International Robot Expo was a huge success. It certainly made a global impact, even outside of Japan, as fans of these amazing creations saw their favorite inventions get a chance to shine. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends on a social media platform of your choice. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and press the bell icon to never miss any of our updates. Visit our channel to watch more of our awesome content. What do you think about these robotic inventions? Do you find them exciting? If you had to create a robot, what would you make them for? Share all your thoughts and ideas in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.